Holy shit. We estimate it's been here approximately 100,000 years. We picked up a signal possibility. another episode of Saturday Night Horror. Uh, tonight we're going to be watching the 2011 remake of John Carpenter's The Thing. Uh, the Thing, the remake, uh, got a lot of negative reviews. Uh, a lot of people just really didn't appreciate it, really didn't like it. Um, didn't do too well in the movies, it was considered a flop. Had a budget of 38 million, only made 31 million. So I mean, you know, it is what it is. I enjoyed it personally, but uh, a lot of people just didn't really care for it. They thought it was trying to do too much or not enough, depending on you know which review you read. But yeah, anyway, that's what we're watching this week. We are watching the 2011 remake of The Thing. Uh, like I said, I enjoy this movie, and it has a cool twist at the end where... Uh, I'm going to spoil it for you, man. <laughs> at the very end, you find out that the remake is actually a prequel to the original thing, so that was pretty cool. Um... If you remember, the original thing begins with guys in a helicopter shooting at a dog. Well, that's how the remake ends. So everything that happened in the remake takes place before the original. I thought that was really cool. Uh, like I said, man, a lot of people didn't really care for this movie. I did. Um, it has its goofy moments. Um, but nothing that would make it a horrible movie like so many have said it is. Uh, you just have to watch for yourself. Be your own judge. Um, I thought it was fun. Um, the monster... <laughs> or parasitic alien is actually what it's called it was uh... it was brutal at times it was kind of ridiculous and goofy at times but like i said enjoyable movie nonetheless uh... basically it's about a group of american and norwegian scientists uh... research team they find a huge spacecraft under the ice in antarctica they end up finding the body of an alien in the ice as well um, Unfortunately, they don't know that it's a parasitic alien that takes over uh, organic matter. So if you're, it can take over your body. Um, it'll spit your teeth out because they're not organic. Basically, anything organic, this thing can take over and become. And there's only a few ways to tell. Uh, they figure out how to tell who's who. I'm not going to spoil that for you, but yeah, um, it's uh, this movie. It doesn't waste any time getting to the action. A lot of movies, there's build-up before, you know, the monster or alien starts wreaking havoc. This one doesn't keep you waiting long at all. Um, right away, you see, uh, they do the research team finds the aircraft. Then it cuts to another scene where we're getting another team together. And next thing you know, they, fought, they see the aircraft or spacecraft, find the alien. They're talking about breaking it out of the ice. Uh, all hell breaks loose. It does not waste any time getting the action started, so... There's no slow build here. Uh, the thing 2011 gets it uh, hits the ground running and doesn't stop till the end, which I don't have a problem with it, man. Um, it's it's quick. The uh, action starts quick, but it doesn't feel like it's been rushed. It doesn't feel like they're just throwing it out there to get it done as quick as possible. It actually makes sense, um, if you can believe that or not. But yeah, that's what we'll be watching tonight. Um, I'm not going to cook anything elaborate tonight. We're just going to make a frozen pizza, spice it up a little bit. And we're going to watch the remake, so let's head to the kitchen, uh, let's doctor up this pizza, and then we'll watch the thing. Alright everyone, here's our frozen pizza. We have DiGiorno here. Um, nothing big, we just got to spice it up a little bit. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some cilantro leaves on it. you got to have cilantro. So just a tiny little bit. And after that... I'm going to put some more Italian seasoning up here. Uh, if I can get this open one-handed, there we go. Just dump that up there. I'll probably spread some around when I put the camera down. Alright, 
So it's been 25 minutes. Pizza is done. It looks good. Smells good. You definitely uh, smell the seasonings in there. So let's go ahead and cut it up. Alright, here we go. We've got our pizza ready to go. Look at that. That's a beautiful pizza pie. Man, it looks good. And of course we have our orange vanilla coke. Which is awesome, by the way. Yeah, we're ready to go watch a movie. Alright, here we are. The Thing Remake 2011. Huh? Looking forward to this. Been, um... Maybe about two or three years since I've seen it, so definitely looking forward to watching it again. Got a good meal, good drink, good movie. It's going to be a fun night, guys. Uh, definitely looking forward to watching this. So when it's done, I'll tell you what I thought. Let's watch it. Alright, everyone, so the thing is over. Uh, we had a good meal, watched a good movie. Um, as I said at the beginning, I enjoy this movie. The action does not take long to get started at all. Um, watching it again, I do have some, there's some things that I watched, I'm like, what are they thinking, or what are they doing, I have some questions, <laughs> but, um, like, for instance, when they first found the alien, they see the alien's body in the ice, the first thing that comes to their mind is how long will it take this to get us this, uh, how long will it take to get this thing out, excuse me. Now, I'm thinking, you know, you're supposed to be the top research, uh, team, top scientist in the world. And the first thing you think of is getting this body out of the ice. No one stopped to think, well, what if this thing has a disease or a virus that's millions of years old that we haven't encountered before that could wreak havoc on the world or kill us instantly, anything. No one thought about that. They just want to get the damn thing out of the ice as quick as possible. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the research team uh, wasn't very bright that part. And, of course, find out uh, they start to get it out of the ice. They leave it alone for a while thing is alive, breaks out of the ice, starts taking over bodies, um, all hell breaks loose. Like I said, it doesn't take long. I did like how they could uh, kind of tell who was taking over and who wasn't. Since the alien can take over organic matter, it would take over your body, but your teeth and your fillings, uh, metal plating, it would spit that back out. That wouldn't be a part of it. So what they do is they got to a point where they're telling everyone to open their mouths and they check for their teeth, they check for fillings and all that. So uh, I thought that was pretty smart how they did that. Uh, like I said, there's a twist at the end where you find out this is actually a prequel. That was pretty cool. Uh, the kills from the parasitic alien were... Ugh. Uh, the people suffered, man. Um, they suffered horribly. There's no other way to put it. They freaking suffered. Uh, wasn't anything really extremely gory. It was just you felt really bad for the people that were dying. Because it wasn't quick. They all died very slow deaths. Um, just seeing the alien take over and merge with these other people was just, ugh, God, it was horrible. <laughs> uh, something I definitely never ever want to experience my damn self, but yeah. In the end, um, I enjoyed it. I think it's a good movie. It does have its flaws, like the, uh, the common sense, the research team, uh, some of the CGI for the alien, especially the last form of the alien, was just laughable. But overall, I mean, it doesn't make it a horrible movie. It's an enjoyable movie, man. It is what it is. Uh, I don't think it deserves as much negative press as it got, but that's just my opinion. So definitely check out uh, The Thing remake from 2011. The original was awesome as well. So that's it for this episode. We're going to end this on a music video like we always do. Um, I'm going to end it before I start rambling on aimlessly like I usually do. Next week, um, oh boy. Next week, I'm going to torture myself. Next week, we will be watching Troll 2. Quite possibly the worst horror movie ever made. Quite possibly the worst movie ever made, period. But in a funny way. Troll 2 is so, I mean, words can't describe how bad Troll 2 is, but it's funny. It's so bad, it's hilarious. Um, it's going to be hard to watch it, but at the same time, it's going to be funny because I'm going to be laughing at most of it. So, yeah. Next week, Troll 2, uh, as far as cooking goes, who knows? Uh, well, I'll decide that night. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of Saturday Night Horror. Uh, thank you guys for sticking with me. And to everyone that actually watched the video all the way through, you guys are freaking awesome. <laughs> We're going to end this with a music video like we always do. And 
Uh, troll 2 next week, guys. So, until then, thanks for watching. Happy horror hunting. Take care.